Hi everybody, it's Nad Euro here and I'm bringing to you a tutorial on new drugstores. Now, some of them have been out a while, some of them are new. I just thought I'd bring them to you. I've got some oldies in there because I haven't got new products to bring to you obviously in that category. But if you enjoy these types of videos and you're new to my channel then don't forget please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell i'll be coming back now and i'm going in with my usual elf priming mist no revlon photo ready primer anti shine i'm not going to use the sponge it comes with i'm going to warm it up with my fingers and just oh you can see it that was weird, that's strange. I'm going to put some on my big old friend that's come along. I'm still putting my Lumiere on drops underneath because I would do anyway. So I'm going in with my number seven beautiful skin. The silver balls on there makes it really nice and cooling on your eyes. So this is the Kiko um, colour corrector. The mixture of this colour and this colour because I want a peachy colour. That has definitely cancelled out my um, bags. I'm also going to put my, my MAC lips on. I got the Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I'm not taking that off because I've, I've just mixed them together. This isn't a full foundation. I'd have to really layer it up. Do you can you see? You can see it's like redness here. It's, you know, even that spot shining from the heavens. I'm just gonna take an, another little dollop of that one and a dollop of this one. So it's gone in nicely where I've actually put it down again I think it's ox oxidized on me because it's going slightly orange down my neck because I've sort of stopped it here and it's starting to look a little bit orange we'll see how it, how it lasts it's looking really pretty now on my skin and I'm using this L'Oreal for the all over this isn't translucent it does give us a bit of colour but and I don't use a lot. See and then I've done that three times now and didn't conceal. Gonna have to go with some concealer and out hope it's we're not testing on the concealer anyway so let's hope that i can get some coverage on here so this might crease a bit i haven't actually got any new concealers to bring to you so and the same with the under eye setting stuff i haven't got So I'm going to use this Avon, it is the eyebrow and I'm just going to do my eyebrows. So to start off with I'm laying the powder down first and then I'm going to go in with the wax. The wax is sort of darkening it and I don't, I don't sort of get that. I've then got this Revolution 
Renaults and Glow. It's come in a nice little case. I just think that's gorgeous. And they're the colours. So I'm going to use this to bronze, I think. This is definitely a sculpting powder, so this is nice. See, that's that's really nice. You see, always see it better on this side. So, just a little bit. That's nice. I do like that. I'm going in with this. This is called Bronze and Glow from High Art Makeup. And I'm going to use this one to bronze. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. So this is a warm tone bronzer, which I think is good for my skin. Then baby has a doing my head in there. Got the Pro Blush and Light. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to take the bottom coral and I think this cut one across. Never go overboard like I have done with this side. I'm just gonna brush it out, and it doesn't look as harsh. It was really nice as well. Then I'm going in with the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow. Again, I've not used this, so that's what it looks like, guys. This is a Pro Glow one. Actually, I'm gonna leave this till I've done my eye look, because then I'll know what what sort of thing here. right so this is the revolution makeup and this is the reloaded palette so there are the colors just gonna set down this powder that's not the avon that's the technique one that's out my project pan and the spot's still coming out to play so I'm going to use the Kiko O1 as my eye primer. Just put that all over my lids. So I'm going to go in with this creamy one just there. It has got a slight bit of fallout, guys, but not to worry. This is more of a colour than it is a transition shade i wanted a just a blank one but obviously not so i'm just putting it all over my lids and then i can work from there with this one then i'm going in with this color this camel color and this again is going in my crease <laughs> the pigment and i don't i don't exactly mean my crease i mean just above my crease that's really pretty then I'm taking the dark brown I'm going into my crease this time I'm just did I tell you makeup revolution make some good makeup wiping it and circling just to Lay it down where I want it to be. I'm going to actually try, I'm going to do use this khaki green on the add corner. So I'm placing the colour first and then I'm going to blend it in and then a little sweep across. That's nice. Slightly above my crease so that you can actually see it. Going in with this 
cocky one again down here. I'm going for like an army look. So in the middle to blend together. Then this green here is going to go on that inner corner. Not impressed with this one, guy. Guys, I'm not impressed. So I had to work for that, guys. I really did. So not super impressed these greens are nice though this this khaki green and the other green and just gonna go in and just blend a little bit not too much like that then i'm put running that dark one under my eyes and i'm going with in with the khaki one I think because it is such a dark colour, I'm going in with the pink under my eyes. Yeah, that's that makes my good blue eyes pop as well. So this one up here and this one down here. This one down here. Oh yeah. They do know what they're doing with some things. Actually, I'm going to spray my face again. Really don't like that stuff. So then I'm going in with the Volume Shake from Rimmel. I've only used this once, guys, and I wasn't impressed because it was quite wet. So I thought, well, I'll try it again. Now it's been open and used once. And as I say in all my videos, I've got no eyelashes, so it doesn't really matter what mascara I use. It's nice and now it's been dried out, aired out, and I've actually left it open like this overnight so that it dry a bit more. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. So, and I got it in the colour 95. So I don't know if it'll go with this eye look, but so guys, this is the finished look. So once I get ready and I've gone out and come back. I will give you my overall thoughts on everything. I am back with putting all of my makeup on and this is the finished results. Uh, this has been on since nine this morning. It's been on seven hours guys and I'm now getting to the point that I don't want it on anymore. Yeah, I've had enough of it. So we'll start from the face up. So starting off with, I have used the Super Superstay in this one. This one has had a dedicated video, so if you want to go and watch that, then you'll see my review. I'll probably link it up above. So, the Revlon Photo Ready Anti Shine. And I'm not being funny, but for me, it looks really nice. You know after seven hours wear it's really nice and i've still got pores because you don't totally get rid of your texture on your skin but they're not as big as they are normally so this is going to be my new drugstore one i went back to an oldie but a goodie which was the color corrector from kiko and again you can't see my bags so what i'm doing with color correctors they work they really do and they're gorgeous. The only problem that I will find is I'll only technically use the one shade, which is the yellow, with a little bit of the peach. But 
then i tried out this the avon brows and i wasn't expecting these to even stay on that is really nice i do enjoy that then i tried the i heart makeup bronze and glow this this one because that's the one that i used beautiful blends in really nicely eight hours later i've still got it on my face it's really really good then i've used the pro blush and highlight i mixed in the two peach colors which was the one at the bottom and the one in the middle to get this gorgeous blush color i really like this so i just can't grumble today there's nothing that i don't like if i'm honest um oh there is i also use this kiko skin solution which is that's supposed to be a concealer but i used it this on my lid i like this this kept my eyeshadow on and good for eight hours so seven hours whatever it is i can't remember now i counted a minute ago but really really good i've never ever been able to falter the makeup revolution at all this has been lovely to work with you can see i'm still glowing from the gods i'm just like it is so nice it really is um i used the revolution renaissance glow and at first i was like it's a bronzer but actually it's a gorgeous sculpting palette i've used the new revolution reloaded iconic diversion palette now this blended like a dream blended and i made sure i used the unusual colors that you don't necessarily pick this is what it looks like guys i don't think swatches give you the true coloring of it because this this one just here it just doesn't come off you really have to dig in to get a little bit of payoff this is the and obviously i used it as my inner part this took me a while to build up two colors that have not shown up i can live with i think i and my eyeshadow looks spiffing <laughs> so yeah really really i'm impressed with this palette 100 percent. i used this as my setting powder but my elf was under my eyes this added a little bit of color then i used the rimmel shake doesn't do anything different to any other mascara for me but i do like this it it hasn't gone underneath i've got no black marks underneath i absolutely love this now and it is going in my top drawer so the last one that i uh, had was the maybelline superstay matte ink it's still tacky and this has been on a good well my camera has been rolling now for 10 minutes so it's basically been on uh, probably 15 minutes and it's still you do have to push your lips together but i don't like the feel of it and when it starts to go on you you get them balls and i'm not about that i'm not about them life where it rolls up on you so but everybody raves about them now for me this is why i like to come back with a review at the end because certain things don't work it's like oh this is a beautiful color and the format's really nice yes it is when you first put it on but have you worn it long enough to do it or do you go and just take it straight off and then not wear it that is it that's all the new things everything else you've actually seen before overall i am quite happy with this so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did uh and you want me to bring more like this then i certainly will do 
and if you want me to do something let me know in the comments i will see you guys in my next video bye